just be here my guy back to a new 12 or 3 bear TV episode. And if you just last one, go and check it out. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about... This is... Well, this episode is going to be me just talking about different subjects. Yeah. Me just going with different subjects. Talking about different things. And, you know, just a free on, like, episode. Just going, talking about different things in one episode. And, yeah, I, I mean, I've sort of done this before. A few seasons ago with the went off topic episode. The episode that is called went off topic. I did sort of did that, but that was because, yeah, I did go off topic in that episode. This one, I'm not really going to try to go off topic in this episode. I am going to try my best not to go off topic too much in this episode. So first of all, I'm going to start with how could Mickey's, or the Mousetrap, I guess I would call it. Because it's called the Mousetrap, but we know it as Mickey's Mousetrap. Which again, is on Peacock. Which you can stream on Peacock. Because that's how I recently rewatched it. Along with the second Winnie the Pooh movie. And, yeah, I wanted to talk about... Could... Could have... Could have... The... Mousetrap... Be... Better, right? Could it hit... Could it have been better... Than it was? Obviously... Yeah, of course... You could definitely tell... It is definitely... Low budget... Right? It is... Low budget... I can definitely say for sure... And... Again... Throughout it all... It's definitely not the worst movie I, I've seen, though. I mean, I do like the concept they use for this movie. Right? I do like the idea they're giving with this movie of this guy dressed as Mickey going around getting people, right, in a Mickey mask. And being able to play, or be, or playing the original Steamboat Willie cartoon as well. Which I just find a really good detail. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of cool, really good parts in this movie. And just to think Mickey Mouse can teleport. Yeah. Like, the guy that is Mickey Mouse ends up being able to teleport as well. Like, that is some power, being able to teleport. I mean, surely there's probably, there's got to be a second one, right? A continuation. I mean, yeah, we are getting some other Steamboat Willie movies. We are getting more Steamboat Willie movies like this. But I don't know if it'll be like a continuation or anything, because the ending does seem like it does kind of leave something towards, like, you know, another movie like this. Especially the end credit scene with Mickey going over to one of the girls, you know, that was being interrogated during the beginning of the movie to the end, saying that come come play with him. He's got so many friends that he wants her to meet, and we are just getting started. And yeah, her going towards Mickey. Again, definitely... I feel like definitely is leading towards some kind of continuation, if I could just say so. And, yeah, I found it pretty interesting that, yeah, the, you know, the guy behind the Mickey Mask is, of course, the manager, right? Is the manager of the actual arcade that, you know, the movie takes place in. Like... And, of course, the mask, Mickey mask, costume mask, has some sort of power as well. Again, a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff that I can definitely say that they went in in this movie. Obviously, yeah, it definitely could have been better when it came to budget. But, you know, this was the first Steamboat Willie movie on this that we have gotten since it... That we got since it in gotten revealed, not just released, but gotten revealed when it came to the when it entered public domain. I can say, so of course, it's gonna be like the first Winnie the Pooh, where it's gonna be when it comes to the budget, it's not gonna be as good until 
most likely to later movies, I can just say. But yeah, again, definitely give credit to how the Mickey... Again, I call it Mickey's Mousetrap. I mean, it's called the Mousetrap, but call it whatever you will, right? Cover, Call it whatever you will. Yeah, I do feel like it definitely could have been a, a lot better, though. I mean, yeah, of course there's some interesting, insane moments as well. And I do like the story that they were going for. But, especially, like I said, the budget feels like it could have definitely been better when it comes to the movie. Definitely would say that myself. And then we go to Winnie the Pooh 3. Which, again, we still yet to know. Or, obviously we know it's confirmed, right? We know that the third Winnie the Pooh movie installment is in development. And it's going to be bringing characters like Rabbit, for example. Rabbit, the Heffalumps, and Weasels. That are going to be joining. And from what it looks like as well. It could also be taking place in London. As well. From some stuff that I've seen. And it also could be bringing back Eeyore. As well. You know. Eeyore teaming up with Christopher Robin. Like. Again. There's still lots of interesting stuff. That I am very very curious to see when it comes to this third movie i can just say i can definitely say for sure especially when it comes to how it's going to be this third movie is going to have a bigger way bigger budget than the second movie had and that's going to be crazy right that's going to be crazy seeing how Pooh, piglet tigger owl and everybody else is going to be with the bigger budget that they're going to be getting. I mean, yeah, I love the budget that they did with the second movie. Way better than the first one. But again, just saying how, when it comes to how, what the third movie can be like. Like, it makes me excited when we get our first look. Screenshots. Images. Right? When they finally reveal our first look. Right? The first images of how the movie is going to look. Which, again, it could be next year, but it also could be 2026 as well. Because, again, we do have, which I will get to, you know, part other movies in the Pooniverse mo front universe that's going to be releasing next year as well. But again, the third movie could still release next year as well. Again, we, we are still going to have to wait and see, though. I guarantee it could, I mean, again, I'm not saying it, it definitely is, but it could release next year, right? It definitely could release next year, but also it could release in 2026, though, the third movie. I mean, again, we, we did just find out sometime this year that the movie was confirmed to be in development. And this was before the release of the second movie, I remind y'all. The director... Of the movies, and that's going to be doing the others in the Pooniverse. That's going to be directing them. Did confirm that they were in that the third installment was in development. So, again, it could be next year. It could be twenty twenty six. It just depends. But again, I'm very excited when it comes to seeing how the bigger budget that they are going to be taking with the third movie when we do finally get to we see our first looks of it and next is talking about the joker which yeah i did love the first joker movie it definitely had a lot of good moments and a lot of crazy moments as well and again with the joker being my favorite villain i definitely enjoyed this movie a lot and especially the actor that played the joker and makes me really excited for when I say the sequel with, with Lady Gaga. Of course, I'm making sure that I don't say any spoilers or say what anybody's going to have to say. Which, even if there's any criticism or anything, of course, I'm not going to listen to it. Of course, I'm not going to listen to the criticism. 
But yeah, definitely excited for the sequel when it when I say it. Definitely, just from the trailers, it definitely looks really good in my opinion. So definitely excited to see how well they do with this one. And the next thing is, just from a comment that I've seen, or I got, which I can't actually look it up. I can actually look up this comment that I actually got. It was on my review, my review on the premiere of season 36. You know, the first episode of season 36 of The Simpsons. It was part of that review. And, yeah, he mentioned that he also, or he did mention that him saying he wonders if season 36 is the final season, not the episode. Which again, yeah, the episode, the start of season 36 is portraying like, you know, an AI making, an AI that they present in the episode trying to make a perfect ending to the Simpsons series, right? But, it was, of course, it wasn't the final episode of the series, of course, of the show. It was just the start of season 36. But a good question is, is season 36 going to be the last season? Again, it's not confirmed, obviously. I doubt we'll, we'll, of course, find out if it is or if it's not sometime next year. If the so if they announce that of course the so gets renewed for season thirty seven or thirty eight, right? Most likely sometime in January next year. Or sometime probably close to the beginning of next year. I guarantee we'll find out when. But that is a good question though. I I don't know for sure though. The, again, it is the Simpsons we're talking about. So of course it could not end at season thirty six though. I guarantee you. But again, I just I did want to mention that because I found that quite interesting. And next is, of course, how I would ne there would be one reason if I wrote drove or rode in a plane, and that is the if I ever rode in a plane, I would rather just let the rapture happen and take me, so I don't have to <laughs> be in the plane like. Yeah, if I, like, if I was in a plane, I would rather just, le I would just let, want the rapture to happen and just take me, just so I wouldn't be in the plane. That's what I would do if I would be in a plane. Next is, when it comes to Crash 5 and, yeah, like, an actual Crash 5, not the cancelled Crash 5 that we know of. But, again, Crash 4, obviously, is still my favorite Crash game, right? But what about Crash Bandicoot 5? And no, I'm not talking about Twin Sanity. I always, I get, I do get, kind of get sick of when people say t Crash Twin Sanity when saying getting a Crash 5. Or them mentioning a Crash Twin Sanity remake. As much as I would love it for happen to happen... I don't think we're going to get any more remakes for Crash and Spyro. I feel like remakes for those ga for these franchises are now over. And I would rather us get new games, right? New games and not just remakes now. I mean, the Reignited Trilogy, Insane Trilogy, and Nitro Field were, were remakes that, you know, we were good with, right? To bring back the franchise. And, of course, Crash 4 obviously brought back the franchise in a big way as well. But, you know what I'm talking about. Like, a complete brand new game. Like, Crash 4. And, yeah, I still do believe that we will get a Crash Bandicoot 5. Who knows when? Who knows when? But, I do believe that we will get a Crash 5. And, yeah, it's probably going to be something way different than what... The version that was cancelled, right? You know, that we saw the concept art of. But I do know that we will get a Crash 5 eventually. Eventually. 
we will get across five. Trust me on that. I do know that we will get across five. I don't know why we wouldn't, to be honest. I do believe we will get one one day. I am positive. I can't, I wouldn't be able to say when, obviously, when my guess would be, but I do believe we would get one, though. And also, when it comes to a certain subject on the line, it comes to women and also how do I, how I find it not really, at least in my opinion, to be able to date someone and when you're in a country and they're in the other country. I just don't really feel like that is pretty good, I can just say, because, well, I wouldn't want to drive all that way. And like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to be in the air. I don't want to be in the air. Like I mentioned, I refuse, I would refuse to take my chances on the ground than be in the air. So yeah, flying in a plane, yeah, that ain't happening for me. I'm sorry, that ain't happening. <laughs> like I said, I would rather let the rapture, I would, I would, I would let the rapture happen and take me, just leave my clothes behind in a plane, then, you know, that's what, it, that's what it would be like for me. But, again, just the whole stubbornness as well and how hard it would be as well. And I'm not giving any names or anything, obviously, but there is someone that I've talked to before, but in a different country, and several of them beforehand. But, again... I just feel like it would be better if you were in the same country, though, right, when you're dating somebody. Maybe that's just me, though, my personal opinion, but, I mean, it makes sense, though, because, obviously, yeah, I mean, I don't have my driver's license, still, and, again, I would never ride in a plane, so... I mean, not to hurt any feelings or things to anybody, but, again, just saying how it is, though. I mean, I'm sure there are people that do have dates, other people in different countries when they're not in, but, personally, I would rather just do somebody, have somebody, go with somebody in the same country, and not just have... One's in different country. How much one country and you're in the other. Maybe that's just me, though, honestly. That's just how I feel, though. Because I would rather just, you know, just date somebody that's in the same country as me, though. And next is, again, VeggieTales. Which, again, my personal favorite episodes, which... Again, are some of my favorite stories in the Bible as well, like the Good Samaritan and the Veggie Tales of the Good, or the story of Flipper Lou, Daniel and the Lions Den, obviously with Daniel and the Lions Den, and again, lots of others as well that I really do enjoy. I can just say for sure. And when it comes to the Pirates of the Caribbean, which and, of course, Jack, Johnny Depp's return, which, who knows exactly. I really do hope that Johnny Depp does return, though. Because, again, I say this a lot, but it just would not be the Pirates of the Caribbean without Johnny Depp. That's literally what makes the movies so great, is Johnny Depp, though. That's what really makes him great. And, again... He, that's what also he also what makes the um the SpongeBob episode SpongeBob versus the big one really good at least to me is Johnny Depp's appearance as JKL right definitely what really gets it as well 
And again, The Pirates of the Caribbean is definitely up there with another one of my favorite movies. And one of my favorite worlds in Kingdom Hearts as well. But, yeah, when it comes to Johnny Depp, I do one hope he does return, though. I don't know about if Elizabeth's actor would return. I mean, I've, I've seen some things. I've read some things. I don't know how true they are or if they're true or not. Of saying that after the Caribbean movies, she had to go through therapy. Years of therapy. I don't know if that's true. Y'all are going to have to correct me on that. But again, I do like all the actors of the that is on the Pirates of the Caribbean, though. But yeah. Who knows when it comes to the Caribbean movie. Like, the next Caribbean movie. With... Who, who will return and who won't, though. And also, when it comes to Inside Out, we do have a release date for the um, series, the Inside Out series, Dream Productions, which is in December. Yeah, it's coming to, De De coming to Disney Plus on December 11th, if I am not mistaken. I, I kind of don't want to look it up. Yeah, I kind of don't want to look it up, but I feel like I am because I want to get it right. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to get it right. I do want to get it right. So... When is it coming out? I want to, again, I want to be sure. I know it's December. Okay, December 11th. December 11th. I wanted to be sure, because I, I wanted to get it right. <laughs> I wanted to get it right. But yeah, December 11th is, which Pixar did release a video showing the Dream Dream Productions Inside Out spinoff. So, that is coming. And, of course, I do... I do know that we're probably we won't be getting a third Inside Out for movie for quite a bit probably, but I do believe that we will get one though because of how well the second one's continuing to do even on Disney Plus. But when it come also when it comes to Spyro, which yeah this year has not been so good for Spyro, I can just say. Or any of the past years, like Spyro is continuing to be si like dead, <laughs> for real though. Spyro is continuing to be like completely dry. Spyro has pretty much been like Kingdom Hearts the pa the past so times that you know being in the dry season, being in the wanting to know what's going on time. Like I do believe that we are. A Spyro 4 is in development. I do want to believe that there is one in development. Of when it's coming out, I cannot say exactly. But I do want to believe that there is one in development. Who knows how long it would be until it comes out. But, or who's making it? Most likely Toys for Bob. I wouldn't be surprised. But again, when it comes to Spyro, yeah, I really wouldn't be able to say too much on that though and again when it comes to Peter Pan again going into the Puniverse franchise when it comes to Peter Pan's movie we know that it's coming out I don't think it has a month yet no it doesn't have a month yet all it says is 2025 right now yeah all it says is 2025 when it comes to the year that this movie's coming out. And... Yeah, again, just from the trailer as well, which I did discuss as well. Definitely looks like it would be a really quite interesting one, I can just say. And, of course, we have Bambi's as well. Which, it also doesn't have a release date either all it well all it has is a release year marked 
and that is 2025 as well. Yeah, 2025 as well. Again, going back to the whole Puniverse as well, which is also supposed to be 2025 as well. And, again, going back to the whole third Winnie the Pooh as well, I feel like it maybe could be sometime in next year as well, along with the others as well, I could say. And when it comes to Pinocchio's, though, when it comes to Pinocchio, we still don't have an exact date or year of when it's coming out. Maybe, most likely next year, probably. I would guarantee you it's probably going to be next year when it comes out. You know, Pinocchio Unstrung. I mean, the Scream Boat, right? The Scream Boat that I also talked about is coming out January 24th. I mean, yeah, Steamboat Willie isn't going to be... Is not part of the Puniverse universe. So is Cinderella. They're not part of the universe. Alice in Wonderland is going to be part of it, though. From what I've seen, it is going to be part of it. Alice in Wonderlands is going to be part of it. Like, let me just see exactly. I know there was something recently. There was something recent with the... Yeah. Yeah, let me see if this has some, says something. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland horror movie confirmed in the works for the Blood and Honey crossover universe. Scott Dre Scott Jeffrey and the and the guy who played um Christopher Robin in the second We Need a Pooh as well. Has confirmed Alice in Wonderland will be in the universe. All it says with that. I mean, just from the picture that we have seen before, you can guarantee it, too, because obviously we see the Mad Hatter, right? But yeah, we don't really have much when it comes to these as of the moment. But, again, quite interesting. Again, just different topics I wanted to go through in this video, or in this episode. I feel like I should have some of these once in a while going through you know different subjects in one episode i feel like i should do here and there but yeah i like to know what y'all think let me know below definitely like to know what y'all think okay till next one